Scottish red. So let's see. It's got a nice caramel note to it. Nice. It's a clean start to it. The, the caramel tones come out afterwards. It's a finish, so very good. Impressed. Okay, next up we have Blanco, which is an IPA, uh, it's 6.6 .6 ABV and uh, about a 60, so it should have a little bit of a hoppy taste to it. Let's see. Um, Shouldn't need much explanation on that. It is, it is. 
good, clean heifer. I like it. And the last one is Citrusona. This is supposed to be a real citrusy. It's got uh, 60, 68 IB view, which is going to make it have a, quite a bite at the end. So let's see. Oh, I can smell the citrus hops. Nice. Very, uh, got a good pine and citrus going to it. So, very good. I'm impressed. And while Joel's beer tasting, this private plane just pulled up. Wouldn't it be cool if there was like a celebrity or something on that? <laughs> <laughs> It, in a way, it would be cool to have a private plane, but to me, it's a little more scary because they're the ones that are like always crashing and stuff. So, yeah. But anyways, okay. So when the food or the appetizers arrive, we'll go ahead and give you guys a view on what that looks like and let you know how it tastes. All right, appetizer has arrived. This is their spinach artichoke dip. It's a lot good. Oh, it's tucked in. <laughs> Try this. So you can see. Oh, Come on, hold up. There you go. go. <laughs> Oop. Oops. Make it a mess. <laughs> Drop some there. Mmm. Uh oh. I'll have to edit that part out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Turn it up, at least it's messy. Mm. It's good. I think it needs like a little salt or something. Good. Well, they brought us salt, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. Good. Alright. I thought maybe it needed a little salt, but. Apparently, no. Oh, it's good. So we are going to pick out. On the spinach article to artichoke dip, blah blah blah, and our burgers should be arriving soon. All right, we are back. So we had our appetizer, and it was okay. The one thing I didn't um, like was that they blended like the artichokes and the spinach. So normally you kind of get like a chunk of artichoke or something. So yeah, yeah. it was still tastes good. I wouldn't order it again. This is my opinion. But we did get our burgers. It's a great presentation. They come like this. Yep, they murdered it. See? <laughs> and so this is mine. I got the Southwest, which has the green chili and jack cheese. And this is the Western. Got that. It's got Lots bacon, bacon. Uh, the, the shoestring uh, onion. <laughs> Guys, there you go. And of course, barbecue sauce because it's a western. Yeah. And, uh, we'll take it from there. So these are the beer battered fries. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. Very good. Yeah. And I think those would be a good appetizer if you weren't getting like a yep. an actual burger to eat or something for sure. Yep. So I always cut my burgers in quarters. This makes it more manageable. Although this one I might just do a half. A half. That looks good. Mm, yummy. Cheers. Mm. Happy is good. The meat. It's really good. Okay. And they did mine. I ordered it medium rare. Thank you. Now I'm about to put some mustard on it. Mm. With the green chili and the pepper jack cheese. Mm. Okay, guys, there's mine. Medium rare, just like I ordered it. It's perfect. Let's see what we got. Mm. 
Messy, but good. Really good. Barbecue sauce has a nice sweetness to it, but with a little zinc too, so it's good. Yeah, so I think any burger that you get from here would probably, just from judging from these two, would be really good. Yep. And I love that you can order it medium rare, well done, you know, because to me when you get a well done burger, because it's my preference, it's like, there's no, not enough flavor. Yeah. It's just like a really good steak when you order it well done, it's like, then you drown it with the steak sauce, it's like, why even bother ordering it? It's like what people order a filet mignon. Not, no offense, just not my personal preference. A filet mignon, well done, or medium, where there's no pink left in it. <laughs> I don't get it. Personal preference. When you have a good steak, that's when you don't have to add any steak sauce to it. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, we're going to finish eating and then we'll give you our final thoughts on the Barrio Brew House. Is that what it's called here? Barrio Brewing Company. Okay. Alright, guys, so we got our second plate here. For, and let's see, we got the blonde. Excuse me, Blonde Ale, which is uh, 4.6 ABV and IBUs of 14, so it should be a nice smooth Blonde Ale. Nice. Very nice. Exactly what a Blonde Ale should be. Next, we've got the Copperhead. This one intrigued me. Um, it's supposed to have a maple malt balanced by complex, complex pops. It's got a 6.2 ABV and 31 IBU, so... Hmm. Nice tone to it, let's see. Ooh, that's really good. I like that. That's a Copperhead Pale Yellow. Let's see, what do we got next? We got the Grapefruit IPA, self-explanatory. 6.3 ABV and 55 IBU, so shouldn't be too hoppy. Smell the grapefruit. Ooh, that's got a nice grapefruit finish to it. Really nice. Okay, this is what I'm I'm trying to psych myself up for it. Um, this is what they call the NC Double Ale. It's an English double, and it's 10.1 ABV. The IBU is 21, so it should be almost the. Uh, and it was created for. It was created for U of A because Barrio Brewing started out in Tucson. We happen to be at the Mesa location. Which is University of Arizona, for those of you not familiar with uh, Arizona. <laughs> University of, of Arizona is uh, Tucson, and then usually here in the Phoenix area, we're all about ASU. So, anyhow, let's see what this is like. Very dry finish, right? Which is what you would expect out of a 10.1 ABV. It's a good beer. I like it. I could probably drink one. <laughs> but so these are all the beers you have? Pretty much. Um, I've tried everything except the raspberry elk because I'm not a big fan of the uh, of the fruit beers. And I didn't try the stout or the porter. Again, I'm not a big fan of those, but I'm sure they're good just judging off the other beers that I've tasted here. Everything is really, really good, so. And then, of course, you get, if you order the little flights, oh, there's actually one, one uh, more. <laughs> so anyways, if you get four on a flight, um, how much are these? Uh, I honestly don't know. We'll sum up the, uh, the tab of what it all costs when, when we're done. Yeah. So that's the nice thing is you can, you can try the different ones, and then this being the menu, both tried everything but three of them. So. 
All right, well, once Joel finishes getting his drink on, we will give you a summary of how much everything costs and um, basically if we recommend or what we recommend if you do come try it right Absolutely. All right, everybody, so we are finished here at Barrio Brewing Company in Mesa, Arizona. They do have two locations. One located in Tucson is where they actually do their brewing. And then the one here in Mesa Gateway is actually on the flight line, which is super cool because you can watch planes come in and land. So the flights of beer, you get four try or four different varieties, yep. and they run ten dollars each. So Joel did get eight. Each flight, yeah. He got two flights, so that was yep. twenty bucks. And then um, with the two burgers and the spinach artichoke dip, which we weren't too impressed with the spinach artichoke dip, but the burgers absolutely amazing, hundred percent try them. So the total bill came out to $60.17. Not bad for all that that we did get. So Michaela was our server, so if you definitely come out to Mesa Gateway and try the one here, ask for Michaela and tell her Lisa and Joel sent you from Catch the Lizard. Ciao.